In this lesson, the objectives are for us to now get a little bit more deeper into understanding of how we can do simple image processing and filtering. One of the things I will be introducing you to today would be the concept of cross-correlation that I've actually already introduced in previous lecture, but now I'm going to try to define it much more accurately and mathematically. Using that concept, we will look at the whole concept of convolution and the relationship between convolution and cross-correlation will also be introduced in this lecture. I will also describe some of the uh, properties of how these types of methods can be used to do filtering types of processes that we want to actually do to be able to do computer vision and image processing on images.